Hello everyone, it's me, Elephants Are Tasty, and by the title of this video, you can guess what I'm about to watch. I've waited for this day forever. Volume 4 comes out in less than a month. I am so excited. And, <laughs> disclaimer, I was at RTX at the Ruby panel. I've seen this, but it wasn't finished then. This video, they're calling it a character short, but it's the trailer, I don't know. But, like when I first saw it at RTX, I was at the um, the first panel, not the second panel, and so they didn't know how people would react, and like they got standing ovation. Um, I started crying because of this trailer, and like I applauded so hard. They've worked they've worked so hard despite everything that's been said in the community. They deserve like all the applause. They they deserve everything for putting together something like this and for continuing to carry on Monty's legacy and. I am so excited to watch this, so obviously it's not a blind reaction, but this video still makes me so happy. I want to get to like what's actually important in this video, I've been talking way too long. Without further ado, I'm going to react to the Ruby Volume 4 trailer. Ow. My heart is beating so hard. It looks so beautiful. Like, look how flowy it is, and like, shadows, and oh my god. And the environment is beautiful. <sighs> where is that city at? That's what I was wondering, like, where is this? Oh, there are people. I don't think they had that before. Ruby, you look lovely with the shadows on your face. How did she just fly up like that? Oh, it's so beautiful. The animation quality is like 1000% increase. Get wrecked. with her semblance. She looks so cool. It's so it's so much more dynamic now. Wow. I love the the classical guitar is back from um, Red Like Roses. And she splits herself up using her semblance. Like, how did she learn that? Like, that's so cool. Look at like the dynamic shading on her face. It's like. <sighs> and here's this bitch. Like, what region has this grip? He's a bit stronger than you, what you fought before, Ruby. Is she just like- can she just like fly now? Like that's so cool. And I love her outfit. A lot of people have been comparing it to Pyrrha and Penny. Oh yeah, the freaking he threw the Grim. There's so much to watch at one time. <laughs> so cool. Oh my god. Oh, there she falls. I went to the at RTX. I went to the Ruby animation panel, and the guy who did the the motion capture for the uh, gorilla, he demonstrated. He had like child's crutches, and he like crawled around. It was funny. I 
don't remember the music being like this. That's so beautiful. How does she do that? And what is that? What, does that connect to something? I need to hear what they say. You better hurry. I just want to see my bay run. I want to see their new outfits. Oh, not this part. I love that outfit. She's so beautiful. And she's so beautiful. Where is she? The water is so beautiful. And Yang is just, oh, so sad. just finished it seeing it like on my own screen and like there's no background noise and it's like the high definition oh my god I, I have so many thoughts going through my head right now I, I'm, I'm almost speechless just like seeing this on my own like when I saw this at RTX I was blown away like the new animation style and like it's like a trailer like they they had before volume one and it's like both characters and I'm just despite what anyone has said in or to the community none of us know really what Monty wanted to do with Ruby and all we can do as the viewers is to just watch what they put out and hope that they're staying true, I'm crying again, that they're staying true to Monty and what he wanted for the show. And even they've changed things and Monty wanted things and and he worked with them to change things. Like, think you have to change things to make things better. And like I don't know what Monty wanted for what happened after the fall of Beacon. But at this point, I'm happy with what we have. Like, even if he was still here and he was still making Ruby, anyone making Ruby, I, I don't know how to word this. Whatever Ruby we get, I am personally okay with that. Like, as long as it doesn't get trashy, and I know it won't because these people are working so hard. I'm so grateful for what they've done for us, the community. <laughs> I don't know why I'm crying so much. And these people worked their asses off to create something. Despite what people were thinking. After everything, after all that crap went down, all the bad words were said. You could tell from RTX that they were scared of how people were going to react to all the changes they made. And when they saw how we loved it. At the first Ruby panel, they were crying too. I'm so happy that we made them happy. And I'm so grateful that they put out something like this for us. Ruby has become such an integral, integral part of my life. And I don't, at this point, I don't know what I would do without it. I'm looking at my three posters that are like right on my wall right now. I remember when I met Monty and he signed one of my posters, he signed my volume 2 poster and I think I just, I took that moment for granted, he was such an amazing person and I just, I really wish he was here with us now and he could, he could not only be a part of 
what they're doing now. But he could also like see how much we care about what he's made and how much we all, we all still care about him. He was such an amazing person and it's so awful what happened, but I'm barely talking about the trailer at all. But this seeing this this has made me so happy. I'm so excited for volume four. And I I just I did I need to say it again, I am so grateful for what Rooster Teeth has done. Despite everything, they've they've stayed true to themselves and they know where they're going and we don't know what the plan for Ruby is. So we just have to put our faith in them that they're going to create something as amazing as they have been or even more amazing. So I guess I should start talking about the actual trailer now. Oh, I look so red in my camera. Well, I need, I need run for run for rental support. <laughs> I need run for rental support, mental support. But so, wow. So they've moved to a different animating software, I believe. So the animation quality has gone up because they can do so much more in less time. Um, wow. Everything is so flowy and all the scenes are so dramatic. Or, like, dramatic in, like, the visual sense. Like, I can't get over that shot of when Ruby flies through the, um... Well, I just, I'm in art history, so I say Rose Window, but it's the big round window in the church building thing. Um, and she just, like, flies against the moon, and she's, like, flying towards the girl at the bottom. That's, like, pretty much my favorite shot from the trailer. It's so beautiful. Oh, my God. But just, like, shadows and environment. And, like, did you see the pattern of the water that Blake was standing by? Like, it was so beautiful. And, like, the sky. Oh, my God. I almost don't know. I'm gonna click through real quick so I can, like, see things I want to talk about. Where are they located? Um... I think it's Haven. They're trying to go to Haven, so it's been like six to eight, eight months, so surely they're there, right? So I don't know what the city is and like why did the Grimm start attacking and like, let's see, um, the sky is so pretty. So obviously Ruby has um, developed her semblance a lot more. Um, she can just like zoom around, she like splits herself up and like what the fuck, man. Her outfit looks badass, and White's outfit looks fucking beautiful. Like, I think her new outfit is, like, my favorite. And Blake looks so badass. Um, and then, uh, Yang was shown, like, sitting at her house, um, just, like, in casual wear, but then Rooster Teeth posted a picture where she, like, has a new, like, badass outfit that kind of looks like Blake's. So, we'll see what happens with that. Um, the music in this trailer was so amazing. Like, Jeff Williams. And, I don't, uh, I'm not sure if anyone else, did anyone else, uh, help compose the music for this? I, I don't know. But, um, Jeff and if anyone else, if any of his other guys worked on it, amazing. I love their music so much. Um, the animation is so beautiful, like, the attention to detail in the background, um, the new Grimm, he was f pretty fucking badass. Everyone's a bit more mature. I can't wait to see what is left of Team Juniper. I want to see him. He's like, honestly, I care about him the most. And for any of you guys who don't know, I, uh, got my boyfriend into Ruby, and we kind of, like, binge-watched it in three days, and he had, if you've seen my reaction to the end of Volume 3, he kind of reacted that way, but, like, he just, like, emotionally shut down instead of crying. It was kind of funny for me, because I knew what was happening. Um, the fight with the gorilla thing was so cool. And he, like, he's intelligent because he threw the Grimm, and the Grimm were cooperating with him, and then... Uh, Ruby, like, fell down the building, and she, like, rose up with the rose petals. Like, how does that work? Like, is her, like, I don't know how the rose petals work, and they've confused me from, since volume one. Um, 
no evidence of the silver eyes stuff, so like, is she not thinking about that right now? I don't know exactly. Um, why does her cape like extend? Like, that's a really cool effect. Um, oh yeah, I forget. Okay, these little sketches of, um, Jean, Nora, and Ren. Like, Jean looks about the same. Yeah, he looks about the same. And also, like, how are they, um, communicating if the towers were down? Unless someone went and repaired the towers, but that maybe will explain that. Nora looks almost the same, and Ren looks more badass. He's got, like, some pop collar thing. I can't stop looking at the picture of Blake. Like, I, I'm after I... I do this video, I'm gonna go to the Ruby Wiki and like get the high def image of this and like make it my wallpaper or something. So, oh, my nose is running. Wow. This video is like <laughs> gonna be three or four times as long as the actual trailer. But, oh my god. I was, I was speechless there for a minute because I am so, I am just so grateful that they do this for us. It has made my life and the life of like hundreds of thousands of people's lives like they have been impacted because of the hard work these people put in I, I feel like I need to like take a nap or something okay this video has gone on long enough RVB reactions I don't have a schedule at all I don't know when I'll do those sorry I can't wait to see other people's reactions Wow. I need time to process so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!